Yeah, so here's all of my drills working towards getting me the uh, tier 3 resource extractor. <laughs> Let's see what's in here then. How's it upstairs? Yeah, here we go. Okay. You only take one. Excellent. Okay, good, 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 good. What's the betting this will give me more than the last one gave me? 100 terror tokens. Not bad. Not bad. Another Pulsar Quartz, so that's a partial refund. That's nice. <laughs> I now have enough to actually make the thing, so that's good. Hey, more Pulsar Quartz. Perfect. See, they know how to treat a guy. Let's just get rid of that, and then I can put excess stuff in here anyway. Hey, more Terra Tokens. Another energy multiplier, too. Different spacesuit. Oh no, the Primo one's one I've come across before. Okay, 100, 1100, 1600, 1700, 1800, 1900, 2900, 7900, 8000, 8100. Nice. I would call that a pretty good deal. And this is only two doors. I think there's more doors that have opened up too. Yeah, that one is super nice. Hey, there's this here. Hey, another Pulsar Quartz. Okay, the bacteria sample is at least useful. <laughs> Alright, happy with that one. That was a good payout. And yeah, now I've got the pulsar quartz that I need to be able to um, unlock the other one again. So we've got a refund, which is nice. Doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but I mean, I've got past the point of caring about what part of the gameplay loop actually makes much sense. There we go, water life collector. That's good. Now I can start getting the phytoplankton and stuff. What do I need for that? Uh, I was hoping I'd just have the materials for that. <laughs> Let me make another one of those. Good. Let's make one of those, and then I need one silicon. Good. And then we can grab a super alloy. Now, let's just put this uh, here, I guess. And wait and see. Okay, so phytoplankton A. I want B, I think, don't I? B or C? So I guess that's the other thing, is where do we place things so that we get different ones? Is it biome based? Because if so, this might be a better place for it. No, it's not letting me place it. There we go. Still A. Interesting. Because I want B or C. A doesn't actually help me at all, I don't think. Hmm. Now I'm confused. Maybe if we go over here. Unless we influence it by growing certain things near it. The fact that it says depending on its location. Still A. Hmm. Well, we just have to keep experimenting. Let's go grab some of the blue quartz as well. And we'll experiment over this way. We can try the river. I do have a base nearby here as well. Still A. Well, I mean, if it's, it's going to be just A, then I can do that closer to home. But anyway, let's grab some of this blue quartz if we can. Oh, we went underneath it. There we go. Let's grab some more of the stuff, blazar quartz. Don't actually need all that much, but we'll grab a few. Well, we can try putting our phytoplankton down up here instead. Uh, if we keep just getting given A. Yep. And it's not like we get a chance to choose. Oh, well, when we just put it down near our base and we just put just deal with having A, I guess. Until we figure out something else for it. Tier 5 heater. I don't need more heat, really. That's the thing. What does that need, I wonder? 
lots of iridium rods and super alloy rods, but damn, that creates a lot. Also, 280 pressure as well, which is kind of nice. But then these produce 459 pressure, so... Yeah, if I was to get anything extra now, it would be a tier 5 drill would be more useful than a tier 5 heater, quite frankly. Uh, but the only thing I really care about at the moment is oxygen and... Ooh, hey, you now appear in the wild. Interesting. You let me make a better tree. There's a lot of life over here, this random oasis. Let's see if this is a good place to put a water life collector. No. Still just A. I'm done with that. I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> I know where it is if I want it back. Put those away and just take two of them out. There we go. Because uh, that was the tier 4 exoskeleton, wasn't it? Ah, there we go. I have, I have exactly what I need. Ah, and I now have enough to make another cookie. <laughs> that just amuses me. Literally the only reason I bother is just because it, it's mildly amusing. Stuff it full of iridium rods and send it on its way, I think. Because I have way too many of those. I don't need anything more from you. Goodbye. See, so yeah, what was it I needed for these? Yeah, phytoplankton B and C. I don't have anything that needs A, and yet A is the only thing that I can get. The fact that we've unlocked tier 3 before tier 2 is also hilarious, and it needs nitrogen canisters, which we can't even get yet, other than just randomly from Rex. So there's just some blueprint logic going on that I think is a little bit broken in the game, but generally you breeze past it fast enough that it doesn't matter too much. We have the three that we need for that other wreck. Let's go do that. Let's just get it out of the way, get it done. And then we'll go do the warden stuff. We'll, we'll see where that takes us. Prepare to be disappointed, I feel. Because there's only a couple of doors that I think that this is going to unlock. But at the same time, I, this is probably the last wreck that needs them. Let's go up here and see what's opened up. So there's a bunch of places have opened up. A bunch of crates. So that's good. It's a good start. Okay, no pulsar quartz yet. No, nope. a lot of nitrogen, which, you know, I was just saying I can't actually get that yet, other than through finding them in crates. Okay, payday. <laughs> okay. Okay, game. You got me. <laughs> that's enough for two more. So that's a that's an almost refund right there. That's, uh, yeah, okay. Apology accepted, game. Apology accepted. Because there was only two unlocked doors up here but then there's the other branch so first let's go take this stuff out and then come back in here empty again three more pulsar quartz and it's given me a refund but i feel that getting six okay i feel i've got my energy cells worth oh it it hasn't opened up any up here okay now i'm disappointed again i expected at least one of these to open up as well but it oh this one's opened up oh i didn't realize these types of doors also opened okay that's interesting i thought it was just the round ones but no it's also other ones so yeah you do have to and there's another pulsar quartz and some more tarot tokens uh if we take that i can deconstruct that not that it matters but and the big safe all right now, Terra token time. And another production multiplier. So, 100, 1100, 1600, 1700, 1800, 2300, 3300. So, a little bit cheap skate on the TTs. But, yeah, that's interesting. I didn't think. I was expecting these doors to open, but they didn't. So, that is everything. On balance, not totally unhappy with uh, what that got me all right now let's take those take all the really special stuff first and that doesn't leave me any room for that stuff that's fine right oh butterflies that's right 
Uh, we now have a, t a 1,000, so that's nice. Uh, let's make another butterfly farm. Bioplastic nuggets, tier 2 fertilizer, and one of those zeolites that we have so many of now. So we've got one either side, but another one over here. Why not? And that just gets our insects moving. Uh, let's just chuck those in there for now. Now I think... Is that the last wreck that matters that I just used? Uh, that larvae is still there, let's grab it. I want to take the materials for another teleporter, I think. I'm going to leave the one south and make another one to the north. Let's grab the warden keys, and it was very northwest coordinates. I seem to remember. Positive 2500 rings a bell in either the first or third digit. I will grab the explosives and the access card as well. I still haven't needed an access card. North. Oh, we can collect some phytoplankton on the way too. It's not very useful for me, but we can collect it. Oh, it does produce the others as well. It's just predominantly A. Okay, now I don't feel quite so bad. I don't feel quite as annoyed. Uh, that means I can actually put that somewhere more convenient too. So let's just deconstruct that and take that with us. Once we put our teleporter down, then we'll bamf back, put that somewhere closer, and stuff those in a locker somewhere. Okay, that makes more sense. We don't even need really to keep it now. We've got all that we care about. And that's the thing, is we're supposed to use every single one of those and just keep multiplying and multiplying, and I never do. <laughs> I play this game in a very simple form. <laughs> I expect you to do so much more. I spend much more time exploring. Okay, now, if I was a key, where would I be? Okay, the 2500 on the third, again, is what I seem to remember, so this way. There was that little overlook area that I was at, like I had a base at. Path up into the mountains here. Had like a little uh, oxygen base. Yeah, here we go. I wonder if we were really nearby at the time, without even knowing it. That's kind of funny if that's the case. Oh yeah, I left a crate behind. Yeah. Another crate. I don't even think I came this far, did I? Did I? Ah. Yep, okay. We found a shrine. Yeah, I didn't come this far, I think, originally. But yeah, 2500. Close. Yeah. I, I guess I've remembered slightly wrong, but... Boom. I was kind of hoping that you'd do that and then like something would pop up through here, but that's fine. Opening a big rock passage is also cool. Do you have collision still, or...? You do. Uh, you're not like Big Mama Sand. I was hoping that the collision just immediately disappear and I could go straight through. What's it even doing? Yeah, the rock's just sliding under the ground. get through yet? Yeah, there we go. Alright, what awaits us through here then? It's an outdoor area. The others have all been underground or in caves. Oh, never mind, it's now going underground. Okay. <laughs> oh, the lights, someone turned the lights on. That's good. It's like a little oasis area. I guess we could have come here by going up and over. Ancient Paradise. Find the Ancient Paradise. Alright. Oh, we're not allowed to jump jet? Uh, I hate that they remove your ability to jump jet. It makes no sense, and it just makes it feel bad again. You've given us great freedom of movement throughout the whole game, and now we come in here, and now it just feels crippling. It's, it's not a good feel. Not good mouthfeel. I don't know if I'm meant to keep going up here. The stairs have kind of finished. 
Mm, maybe not. We can look back from across the way and see if there looks like to see anything up there. There's a water wheel up the back. Am I going to just find another bunch of uh, keys and it's going to lead me to the next one? Guess we'll find out. Yeah, now this just turns into a platforming section. Yeah, that's how I come down again, I guess. It, the saturation has turned up way too high in this place as well. <laughs> Nope, I'm not allowed to jump onto that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's super oversaturated. The bitrate is probably tanking. Oh, yep, another key. Sure enough, another key. How many am I going to get this time, I wonder? Do I even have enough space? I can slap down a portal, I guess. Oh, no, I'm not allowed to jump up on that stuff, it seems. I thought I could, but nope, that's as far as it goes. Alright, so where do I go from here then? The saturation just makes it really hard to see anything. I should slap a portal down actually, just in case if I fall to my death, I want to be able to come back here quickly. <laughs> yeah, pragmatically thinking. Oh, there's a vine for me to climb as well. That's interesting. So I guess you you definitely expected to come here after you've got a certain amount of terraforming progression. Otherwise, that vine wouldn't be there. And you wouldn't be able to jump yet. So that's interesting. Huh? And another key. Okay. And a wall that I can't climb. This is very Tomb Raider now. Now we're. So that's two keys, but I haven't found any coordinates. I've found keys, but not coordinates yet. And I can't get out of this undergrowth. Oh, there's another one down there, looks like. That's a long way down. I don't want to get to a point that I have to jump too far and break my legs. Oh, this is around here. Okay, so keep going this way. What's over here? Was this another way up? Oh, this is another way up, looks like. Okay. Maybe it's just the rule of threes. And, uh, yeah, the other one has the coordinates on it. No coordinates. Unless I've missed something from one of the other altars. Is there a tablet somewhere? Or is it like one, two, three, four now? No, here's the way up here again. Where to next? I didn't see anything on the others. It would have made sense to be on the one right at the top, I imagine. But I didn't see anything on it. I don't really want to get to a point that I feel like I might have missed something. There's no coordinates on this. Just don't want to look on the other side in case I fall off, but no, there's no coordinates there. There's nothing behind there. Maybe on the first one then? I mean, I did kind of jump around the, how I probably wasn't meant to. I'm not sure how I was get, meant to get up here. Oh, around the side, actually. That's right, yeah. I got up here kind of illegally because I jumped around the corners here, which I don't think I was meant to do. It was up there, wasn't it? Yeah, and then I dropped down. Yeah. And now I've just got this platform here. I guess I can drop down onto those bits and it won't kill me? Maybe? <laughs> Don't know. Let's, let's go down the safe way, though, shall we? <laughs> I don't want to risk it. And then we'll get out of this eye-hurting place. Maybe the warden saw different light frequencies or something. It just didn't bother them, but... It's far too bright. I mean, I haven't been straight up the front door yet, actually, come to think of it. I went round to the left. Yeah, here we go. There's a tablet. Oh, and another altar. Okay. 
Once we lived. Yes. Yes, you do. Five keys. Okay. I only have three. I was thinking maybe I needed four, but now I need five. Oh, there's one right here. Okay. Well, that helps. Anything in the bushes? Nope. Uh, how do I get up further? Oh, there's kind of a ruined passageway up here. Donkey Kong level. I get in behind. Kind of? It's hard without a jetpack. I really wish you hadn't taken that away from me. I can see the path going up there. And then there's a ramp going above me. How am I supposed to get to that level, though? Huh? This is not the sort of gameplay I like. So the fact that I had such nice mobility and then they just take it away from you churlishly. So like, no, you're forced to walk through this bit. You have to enjoy this. Do you like it or not? Is this where we were before? Yeah, I feel this is where we went the first time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because we went up to that one. Uh, but I feel there might be another way. How? There's a ramp there. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's a grub. Okay, I thought there was something to climb. There's a bit that just goes across. Oh, it just goes across the stairway. But I don't see another key there anyway. There's nothing over this side? Where's the fifth key? Unless it's up there, so there's scaffold and stuff over there, but... This is just the path out, right? Yeah. Drink while I'm thinking of it. So where am I supposed to get the fifth key from? There's no obvious... Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't even hidden or anything. Well, kind of, but... All right, now we can unlock the front door. What mysteries await within? Bump, 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 bump. That just looks so stupid. <laughs> All stacked up like that. I feel they should be in, like, slots around the top instead. I think that would look better. Never mind. Whatever. Whatever aesthetic. 